Hello, um, just, this is just really as a test video, um, this is stuff we've done already but um, this is me just going to go through the uh, hormonal control of sperm production in the male um, as I said we have done this, we've done the mind map for it as well all that's remains to be done for this topic is a couple of essay questions that I'll post up on Teams later today um, so once we've done that, uh, I will also do the female system in a similar way in another video and then we'll move on to the new topic uh, which is, is of a similar nature but um, is new information. So just to remind you, um, the story of sperm production starts uh, in the brain uh, with two structures, initially the hypothalamus uh, and then the pituitary gland is involved as well. Now the relationship between the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland as the hypothalamus releases a hormone called releaser hormone and releaser hormone is the trigger for pituitary gland to release two of its own hormones first one is called FSH and the other one is called ICSH they stand for follicle stimulating hormone and interstitial cell stimulating hormone neither of which you will need to know um, but you must remember that, that at least the letters, you remember what they stand for, that's perfect too. So um, we'll follow what FSH does first of all, then we'll look at what ICSH does. FSH is fairly simple, it basically acts directly on two structures in the testis called seminiferous tubules uh, and it triggers sperm production. So sperm is produced in these structures called seminiferous tubules, they'll all lead into the one uh, one tube, if you like, which uh, runs round to the penis, and that's how sperm is released out into the into the female, um, but produced inside these seminiferous tubules as triggered by FSH. On to the second of the two hormones released by the pituitary gland, which is interstitial cell stimulating hormone ICSH. It acts on, uh, funnily enough, the interstitial cells, which is why it's obviously called that. And the interstitial cells are then triggered, as you'll probably remember, to produce testosterone. So testosterone is produced by the interstitial cells. Testosterone does three things. First of all, it acts in a similar way to FSH. It acts on the seminiferous tubules to produce sperm. A second thing the testosterone does is it, 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 is it actually acts on two structures, the prostate and the seminal vesicles, both of which produce semen. Now semen is, is not the same as sperm, sperm are the sex cells, semen is the stuff the sex cells get to swim around in, so that's the second um, thing testosterone does is acts on the prostate and the seminal vesicles to trigger the release of produ production of semen. And the third thing that testosterone does, as you again you probably remember or hopefully remember, has a negative feedback effect on the pituitary gland. So actually it starts to stop or it begins to reduce the amount of FSH and ICSH that's released. Effectively if testosterone levels get too high, their own production is limited. So it's almost like a thermostat or an, an on-off switch um, for the production of, of the two hormones initially. So, and that's that. That's all you really need to know about the male. And as we sort of understand by the male hormone relationship for sperm production is quite simple in, in comparison to the female, which we'll come on to. But this is really just a test or video. I'll upload this just now and just check if it works. Um, if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be good. Um, and it'll let me see that it's actually working well. Um, please give me feedback either via, via Teams, via email or even in the comments section in, in YouTube to let me know if this has worked. It lets me know if you can hear me, if there's anything I can do differently. The camera feels quite close, is it too close? Can you see that the, the board's okay uh, and everything else? If there's things I need to change, I'd like to change them quickly so that we don't end up with several videos that don't really are really fit for purpose. Um, Anyway, one more time, just in case, I mean, you can obviously re-watch this, the whole idea behind me recording this is that you can watch it over and over again, but um, just to, to recap what we talked about there, hypothalamus releases a hormone called releaser hormone, which acts on the pituitary gland, it's the very first thing you need to know. The pituitary gland is then triggered to release FSH and ICSH, and those two hormones do different things. They both act on the testis, or the testes, 
The FSH acts directly on the semen after its tubules to trigger sperm production and ICSH acts directly on the interstitial cells to trigger testosterone production. Testosterone has got three roles. The first one is it does the same thing as FSH, triggers sperm production in the semen after its tubules. The second thing is it triggers semen production in the prostate and the seminal vesicles. And finally, it has a negative feedback effect on the pituitary gland, thus slowing down or stopping eventually the production of FSH and ICSH. Okay, right, so hopefully that's worked. Please give me some feedback. Let me know when you've seen this. Um, and the, I'm just about to literally record to the next one uh, on the female, uh, which is a bit more complex, as you know, but hopefully that's made a bit of sense. There will be, uh, as I said before, two essays will go up on the team uh, associated with this topic. A very small number of you before Christmas did these essays. Um, but the, the majority of you haven't, so what I'll do is I'll put the essay question up, get you to do that, and then I'll also post the, uh, the marking scheme um, for you to look at, but only after you've attempted the essay. Okay, thanks.